At our last opening, uh, we had a great conversation. I was new to her work, and it was a treasure to come at this time, and I want to introduce you and hear what you have to say. Renee Ray. Hi, everyone. When I was 10 and 11 years old, I ritually climbed a pine tree that was in the woods behind my parents' home. As I ascended that tree, I became covered in this honey-colored sap, and I was able to take in that strong, evergreen scent that was so beautiful. I climbed about 70 feet high into a top bough. If my mother knew I was up there, she would have had a heart attack. <laughs> when I was up there, I would sway in the wind, and I would imagine a world where I could touch those beautiful billowing clouds and dance with them in that baby blue sky. One day, in one meditative moment, I understood that we were all connected to nature. Everything was of equal importance. There was no hierarchy. People were not higher than the animals. The animals were not higher than the earth. And all was important. This fits squarely with my ideas about connection between people all around the world. You see, I have a very rich, multicultural background. Jewish, Christian, French, Armenian, United States, and birthplace in Japan. And I was able to harvest these ideas from that background of mine. So what does an 11 year old do, a small little girl with these big ideas? I tested my theory. I asked questions, I learned, I read, I learned about my own culture, I learned about other people's cultures, and I learned about different things in different disciplines. It was the dream of what could be that became insatiable. And this became paramount in my artwork. So for over 20 years, I've been dealing with issues with political and social ideas. And these were uh, from the viewpoint of the human condition. In 2016, I was honored to be invited to a, an artist residency in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And there my work transformed. It became large in scale as I worked on these large ideas. Uh, with the environment as the catalyst, I asked questions including, what of the hunger for spiritual connection between people and cultures all around the world? What of the longing for belonging to a global tribe that embraces the natural world as home and family? And what about the desire for all that exists to be treated equally? When I arrived at the uh, residency, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, but on the first day, my host took us to Garden of the Gods. I don't know if any of you have been to Garden of the Gods. Oh, it's so beautiful, with these immense rock formations that come out of the earth, this primordial, amazing world. And so that, as soon as I saw that, I knew what I wanted to do. And the first things I did was over there. 
their, their studies. And the one in the middle has the Garden of the Gods influence in it. And then it turned into this large piece right here. And the same thing, I did the top one there was next, and I did this painting here, and the, the bottom one, I changed it a bit, but it became that third one over there. I've also, in my work, searched for the unex unexpected associations and commonalities. Someone earlier asked me about what this was. There's some, uh, there's a periodic table, because it's the elements. The elements that are all in our world, that have created our world. And so there's an association that you might not put with a piece of artwork, but there it is. And so although I'm not religious, uh, I was inspired to search for connections with my past heritage. And I looked into the Bible, and I wanted to find association, associations with the environment. So I found one from Job that really resonated with, with me and my work. So Job 7. But ask the animals, and they will teach you. Or the birds in the sky, and they will tell you. Or speak to the earth, and it will teach you. Or let the fish in the sea inform you. A symbiotic relationship where we're all equal. So I want to thank Catherine, and I want to thank all of you for coming out and looking at all the beautiful work here. And I'd love to see, uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say about my work and what you think about it. So that the insatiable dream of what could be can be discovered together. Thank you, Renee. And there will be opportunity for question and answers at the end of the presentation.